about 11 a.m. on a Saturday, which means it's time for beer. And that's what's all stout is here in Maryland. We are in Bel Air, Maryland right now. Uh, we're here actually for a wedding, so congratulations Tom and Jess. But while we're here, we decided to kill a little bit of time and check out the local brewery. So we're at Independent Brewing Company. So let's go inside, let's try some of the beers. This is an IPA. And we'll get the details on the board over here. Let's see. So in terms of the IBUs, 66 IBUs. I think the ABV is a six. On the nose, a little bit of like lemon. And definitely, um, as I'm drinking it, a little bit of citrus. Um, I think that's grapefruit, grapefruit rind. Slight hop, but not like overly hoppy. This is really like, drinkable. Like really good like summer IPA. I like this. I would give this four stars. Yeah, the mouthfeel, it's not like too, it's like a little thin, but it's not too like, um, it doesn't like really linger. It just kind of lingers with a, uh, like a pleasant citrus. This is bad on, bad on, bad on, bad ombre, IPA, and independent drink. Alright, so this is picking up in here. It's getting a little bit loud, so hopefully not too hard to hear. This is the second beer up. This is a milk stout. This is called Cereal Killer. It's a breakfast milk stout. Uh, let's check it out on the board. The ABV on this is a 6.7, and it's 40 IBUs. So let's give it a taste. Oh, so definitely, um, Maybe like oatmeal, uh, chocolate, a lot of grain and like malt, molasses flavors. Don't really get too much off the nose. Well, but it kind of just, um, in the aftertaste, kind of thinned out into coffee. So, pretty nice. I like this. It's thin. It's not like a really thick milk stout. It's pretty thin. Um, in, ter in terms of drinkability, it's pretty drinkable. Um, it, I think it is definitely a nice breakfast stout. I would give this a, a 375. So it's a cereal killer by Independent Brewing Company. Alright, so the next beer up is... This one looks pretty new. It was just added to the board a few minutes ago. This is Jenny's Choice. Um, <laughs> this is something new called Raz. Raz Cucumber. Raz no, raspberry raz sour. He wrote raz it as cumber. Raz cumber. Raz cumber sour. Yes, there's cucumber in it. Yeah, and raspberry. So let's give the taste. The A B V on it is 5.2. The I B U is 32, 30, 33, something like that. It was just tapped. It was just tapped. So let's give it a taste, nice and fresh. Oh yeah. So definitely. Um, Raspberry right up front. Nice sour raspberry. Really good. Um, nice and fresh. A little bit of like the cucumber balances it out on the back end. Um, yeah, but very fruity like overall, like in terms of the raspberry, but not sweet, like sour. Um, and it's not sour like a sour candy. It's kind of like a nice blend of sourness. And it, like actually almost like some sort of um, like a uh, like some sort of like salad dish like oh yeah almost like a vinaigrette or something like that that's kind of what it's leading towards yeah like a, a vinaigrette like a raspberry vinaigrette because it kind of it has a little bit of sweetness to it to it from the um, from the raspberry and it kind of like 
harshens with the sour, like almost like a vinegary, but pretty good overall. Um, I would give this, I would go 375 as well. So this is Raz Humber Sour, just recently tapped, so right off the tap. And enjoyable. You want to give some commentary on that or no? Usually not allowed to do this. Guest, guest over here. I like it. Is this your first appearance on that episode? No, you've been on the um, Clover Leaf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starts out sour, a little bit of sweetness at the end. Kind of remind, reminds me of a warhead, um, but not that intensely sour. But not like sweet, like it's not candy sweet. No, it's got a little sweetness at the end. Yeah, but not like, not like a candy sweet. No, like a warhead. It's not sweet candy. Um, but yeah, it's very smooth. The, the sourness isn't like throughout the whole thing. So if you're not a huge fan of sours, you might like this because it's a little sour at the start and then it kind of diminishes. Mm. It's not so sour at the finish. Um, Back to my comment about the vinaigrette. It's not like you're just drinking like a dressing. It's not like that. It's very good. I would give this yeah, a solid it's um, four, four point two five. I really like wow. sours and I really like fruit beers. So this kind of combines my nice. two loves. All right. Besides this guy here. Yeah. Love number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last beer up in the flight is the Bent Handlebar Saison. The um, ABV on it is 5.2. The IBU, oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. The ABV on it is, hold on, hold on. Okay, the ABV on it is 5.4. The IBUs are 36. Oh, so very light, uh, tropically, tropical. I think that's like a pie taste. Kind of coming through. But this is solid. I think it has a. Um, Kind of like a very smooth mouthfeel to it, like a little bit of like a creamy kind of um, mouthfeel to it. Yeah, but overall, um, pretty drinkable. I think this one is a, um, I would give it a, a, a 375 as well on this one. Yeah, I would say just mainly like passion fruit coming through, um, but overall solid. Definitely a good saison. Um, 375. Jenny just had an interesting comment on the beer. Jenny? It tastes like the, the smell of incense. It's like when you go into those hippie stores, it smells like Head the drug drugs and all like the earrings and like books about Wiccans and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be one of those in my mall. That's what it, it tastes like the smell of that store. Very earthy, I guess, is what you would say. Yeah, I think earthy is a good word to describe it. That's good. Like earthy and papaya. Top of the fruit. A little bit. What's your what's your rating on it? Three. Wow. I give it three seven five. The truth. <laughs> All right, so that's what's all about from Independent Brewing Company in Bel Air, Maryland. Uh, we're getting ready now to celebrate Tom and Jess. Congratulations on your wedding and many years of love and happiness for you and many beers. That's what's all about from Bel Air. 
Maryland at Independent Brewing Company. Brewed. This is the only dreams in total darkness. Why are you hiding from me? That's right, there's more. That's what it's all a stab. Giving you a little bit more bonus because I've been away for so long. So, I'm going to review my roadie. This is a growler I got to go from Independent Brewing Company. This is their Carpe Diem. So, when I was there, I had the Bad Ombre IPA. And I asked them, you know, what is your flagship beer? Or kind of what are which IPA are, are you known for? And they recommended the Carpe Diem. So this beer is actually a 7.9%, uh, a and the IBUs on it are 93. And it was interesting because I hadn't seen a uh, growler filled in this way before at a brewery. Uh, they actually canned it live there for me, so they kind of pulled out the can. Uh, basically filled it up at the top with the tap and capped it right there. Uh, and this was different than kind of what I've seen at other breweries where if you were asking for a growler to go, basically you're filling up a glass jug. So definitely a cool experience to see this filled live and to get a little bit more insight on it. So let's crack it open. Um, it's been traveling with me today, but should still be okay. I kind of I had to keep it chilled and I kind of rechilled it. so. Let's crack it open. This is the Carpe Diem, so we're seizing the day today on that, so it's all stout with some bonus content. So let's crack open the roadie here. I hope it doesn't explode. All right, we're, I think we're in the clear over here. We're good. We're good. All right, so let's give it a live pour right here. Getting a little bit of a nose on it already from the distance over here. Kind of actually smells like a, an apricot or a little bit of mango. A little bit of malt. Let's top it off a bit here. And this is a uh, 32 ounces? Yes, 32 ounces. 10 bucks to go. Great deal. Great brewery. So as you see, nice little head on it. This was tapped yesterday, so it's one day old. So making sure it's nice and fresh. So let's give it a taste. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, apricot, mango, a lot of tropical fruit. That's nice and smooth. I like that. Um, kind of follows that same flavor profile. Apricot, mango. Maybe papaya, but it balances out with a nice pine to it. A little bit of hops, a little bit bitter, as well as like a sweetness to it. Really nice balance, so like really playful in terms of the light fruits in there, as well as the like the pine back end kind of beefing it up a bit. Yeah, this is super easy to drink. Um, as you see, the nice color on it, nice little amber color, perfect. Yeah, this one is great. I really like this. Um, I may actually like it better than the Bad Ombre that we had. Yeah, as it's kind of just kind of settling down a little bit. A lot of like the pine, like a sappy, piney back end to it too. Yeah, but overall, this is a very nice beer. So this is Carpe Diem, seizing the day with this beer today. On that, so it's all stout. This is a bonus content beer for you guys. So this is the Carpe Diem from Independent Brewing. It's my roadie to go. And that's what it's all about. So be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you like the episodes, what you'd like to see more of. Would you like to see more brewery stuff? 
Would you like to see just more straight up reviews? Leave a comment, let me know. And as always, that's what it's all about. Prost. <laughs>